So now we come over to Dodds. It's been about 10 days since our last game. And you said after Dartford that you needed probably a little bit of a break and you have that now. Yeah, I mean, the, um, the break's been much needed. If, we, if we'd have had to play St Albans on the Saturday, I mean, it really was down to 11 fit players. And even with that 11, I think two or three um, would have been playing with you know, this flu and the chest infections that's been going around the club. You know, I think all the staff away from the club have got it. Um, as I said, we only trained with six players this week. So we, apart from the injuries that, that Jake and, you know, has referred to, we've also had six players literally in bed uh, with this flu. So fingers crossed today was much, much better. So everyone, uh, everyone trained today bar two. Uh, and we're hoping that those two will be back in on Saturday. So, yeah, it's getting a lot, lot better. Um, as I said, reflections from uh, from the week uh, is that they did need some rest time uh, and some time just to get better. Um, but yeah, we're looking forward to the Christmas period now. Well, it's been a fantastic start to the season. You must be delighted. I, mean, you, I remember you mentioning one of your best starts, if not your best start as a manager. And after absolute loss as well, away to Chesson, a fantastic result for them. But it means we're the only uh, unbeaten away team in the top six divisions. Yeah, I sort of touched on it, didn't I, Wednesday night. I think, um, you know, I was obviously uh, disappointed after the game against Dartford on Wednesday. I saw it as uh, a disappointing performance result. Uh, there were reasons for it, but yeah, overall it's been a fantastic start, and no one, you know, we, we can't forget that it's been the best start in Haven's history. Uh, I think it's certainly the best start I've ever had, and traditionally we get stronger after Christmas. So, you know, we just felt certainly after Wednesday watching Danny Wright come off. I think it was just a disappointment of seeing the numbers just get smaller and smaller, um, but. You know we're we're in a good place if we can get everyone back fit um you know get jason Pryor, who again this week's and uh is, is one that's had the flu as well you know so you're hoping that jason would have a good week but he's been on well um we get we get the right players fit and available between now and the end of the season i think we're you know we're going to be there or thereabouts the christmas period is always good fun during the football season and it's a tough test against eastbourne yeah i know danny really well um sets his sides up uh, I like the way they play. They're very much a passing, pressing team. Got some good players in there. Really like Welpdale. Uh but he's brought in the two wingers this year, the new wingers, and they've done extremely well for him. Uh, Hutchinson, uh, the centre forward from Colchester, has got 13 goals, and that's that's almost up there with any of the other strikers in this league. Um, so this is like a go through their whole team. I think they're they're a good side. They had a poor start by their standards. Um, but you know, I think that they're probably one of the form teams in the league. They've now got themselves into the top six. I said to Danny early doors that I thought he'd definitely be in the playoffs again this year. He's done it consistently. Uh, you know, good club, good players, good management team. You know, with, with, with ben, ben Austin up there as well. So we're looking forward to it. I think uh, you know, from our point of view, as you said, the away form has been exceptional. The home form was exceptional up until the last two. I think we've identified very much the reasons behind why those two results happened. I think that's important and it's 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 up to the team and us to put that right uh, on Boxing Day. And another good occasion on Boxing Day means hopefully we get a healthy crowd. It's the start of our half-season ticket offer and hopefully everyone could just take advantage of the deals that the club are putting out so we can get a nice healthy crowd. Yeah, amazing. Again, you know, you can, I think it's £4 or something. If you if you buy a, a half-season ticket and you're an adult, you're going to get in here for about £4.50 or something. So. You know, we can't make it any cheaper than that for people to come and watch. Um, the crowds have been healthy. Um, I know I moaned uh, on Wednesday night, but that's moaning more at the league. It wasn't moaning at the Haven public. It was the fact that they put it on on a World Cup semi-final night when it was minus five degrees. So, you know, as I said, the league sometimes could help, I, b I believe. Um, but yeah, Boxing Day is always a, always a good crowd. I, th I suspect Eastbourne would bring 100 or so. That'd be good to see those uh, Eastbourne fans down it. Um, but for us, it's very much, you know, so I think it's quite a, a, a crucial uh, Christmas, Boxing Day, New Year's Day, because traditionally where you double headers, it's very rare that a team will win both games. If you look at the stats over the years, very rare. You might get a win and a draw, but it's often one wins and then the other one wins. So, um, you know, and that, that applies to absolute Dartford. You know, that's another real big game over those two, over those two games. So from our point of view, let's get it, you know, let's, let's get it right back here at home first. Like I said, away from home, you know, we've been very good this year. And in terms of the schedule between now and then, is it coming Christmas Eve to train? And I guess it would be a case of counting numbers then too. Yeah, so we came in, uh, obviously we're in today. Uh, we were in Tuesday, but no one was in. Um, so we've trained with more today. 
the hope is that come Saturday we'd have our 14, 15 in as available. Um, we've still got to wait to see if that's the case. And then obviously you've still got another two days from Saturday to, to the actual game kicking off. But ideally we'd like to do some work on Saturday which reflects the team that's going to start on, on Monday. Lovely. Cheers, guys. Cheers, mate.